nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to Making Gains, episode, well, day 106. And this morning, this morning, it's not going to have anything to do with uh, food, no training, nothing like that. We're actually going to address, well not address, but we're going to look at some of the hater comments, alright? So the better, the better your YouTube channel goes, the more attention you're going to get, the more viewers you're going to get, and with that, the more hate you're going to get, obviously. So, with that being said, um, I've wanted to do this for a while. Every now and then, I'll get a really like crack up hater comment. Most probably about gyno. It's usually about gyno, and um, and I'll just laugh and and keep going with my day. But today, I'm actually going to look through a few, and I'll show you, and I'll I'll tell you guys about them, and I'll I'll uh, we'll have a look how many likes they've got and shit like that. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to find them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my most prop popular videos, which also have the most uh, dislikes and also the most comments, and we're going to see um, what, <laughs> what I can come up with. So first of all, we're going to my, my top video, which has 164,444 views. It's got just over 300 likes, and it's got just over 200 dislikes. Quite a controversial video. Um, and... Uh, Let's have a look at the comments. So, what do we got? Some serious gyno going on, but to me, that looked like more like 12 to 13 percent. Oh, thanks, mate. The pirates called. They want their sunken chest back. <laughs> I have not heard that before. <laughs> oh man. Any of you guys with a small chest out there, the pirates called, mate. They want their chest back. Um. Oh, this one's actually quite good. This is a nice comment. Why the dislikes? This seems quite accurate. Oh yes, I know. A lot of pathetic, butthurt, weak, fat people are in denial, as this means their fat percentage must be higher than expected. Go move your fat asses, people. This guy, he knows what's going on. This is definitely mild gyno, and this should get checked out. It's crack up, because someone will put like a controversial, top, uh, controversial uh, comment, and then people will like, rattle off all sorts of shit underneath it and it turns into a full-blown conversation so I've got a few of those here it's quite it's quite fucking funny but we won't go through those did you pop a boner when you looked into the mirror seems to me you did I can't recall popping a boner when I looked in the mirror no looks kind of gay but that might just be your face <laughs> no sorry but that might just be your face and the poses mmm yeah, I'm not gay, but it is kind of gay posing, I must admit. You have no clue about body fat percentage. I know a lot about body fat percentage, and you are around 10%. And then I replied to that, well, watch my 8% video and let me know what you think I was at, because in this video I was pretty fat. Your stomach looks around 12 to 13%, but your chest looks around 15 to 16%. I'm guessing it's just where your body likes to store fat. Well... That's a nice opinion. Gynecomastia is one hell of a disease. Gyno tits at about 5%. And I said, well actually it's probably about 8% to be honest. This guy is ripped, but tiny. You really need to bulk more, man. I think you got a bit of gyno, man. No offense. And I got that comment like a year and a half ago and I said to him, none taken champ. I've had it since puberty, unfortunately. Can't be fucked with surgery. Gyno, do you have gyno, dude? Seriously, get that shit fixed. You have gyno. Do you have gyno? Oh man, you're on roids? Oh, we're coming to the end, guys. Benjamin Anderson, sorry about the genetics, bro. Anyways, that's enough of that one. Um, quite a controversial video with a lot, a lot of comment uh, threads. And it's quite, it's... It is quite funny reading through them, to be honest. And honestly, it makes me feel kind of special that so many people out there have actually spent time on my page and on my video to actually leave me a fucking comment. So, with that said, <laughs> let's go to how to sidestep like the pros. Rugby skills tutorial. 
It's only six months old, and we've got 74,000 views, which is it's unbelievable, really. 721 likes, 120 dislikes, and quite a few comments. This was fucking hilarious. Thanks, man. Six step totes orcs tutorial, but hilarious. Fuck, it wasn't meant to be funny, man. It was meant to be meant to be a tutorial, but clearly, I, I it was pretty funny. Um, come on, mate. You need to learn how to step like Roger Tuivasa Sheck, Nehe Milner Scudder, or Sean Johnson. Then make a tutorial. Sweet, bro. What else we got here? Most of honestly, most of the comments are are quite positive. To be fair. I think bodybuilding is your thing, while rugby is not. Lol, learn to do it right, kid. No offence, mate, but this is funny as fuck. That is funny, you have terrible foot handles. I would cream you, brah. Laugh my ass off, what a tard. Ha ha ha. brah. Brah, be nice, fucking hell, man. Your shit. <laughs> I'm way better than you, Jacob. You can't even step. And actually, to be honest, guys, I had to skip past most of the comments because actually most of them are actually quite nice. So shout out to you guys. Now, what is the next video we're going to do? What 12% body fat really looks like? Now, that video has got up to about 30,000 views in the last five months. So it's gone really good. We've got quite a few dislikes and we've definitely got some comments and um, we're going to check those out. Brace yourselves. you got a lot of work ahead of you, buddy. Funny how all you fags, funny how all you fags work out so hard, yet I haven't lifted since February and still look better. And then someone came in and commented back, shut up, you probably smoke weed in your basement and eat candy all day. Nobody cares if you reached four push-ups in ten minutes last week. <laughs> and then he came back. Try four push-ups in one second, scrub lord. Yeah, smoking weed with your mum, pussy nigger. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Oh, God. Guys, guys, step your fucking game up, honestly. This is the most awkward posing I have ever seen. Why does everyone play shitty EDM music in their bodybuilding vids? <laughs> How long have you been training for? And I replied, six years semi-consistently, four years consistently. And this guy came back, that is an absolutely pissing lack of gains. But thanks, bruv. Thanks. Here's a good one. Respect for being natural. Well, thanks, bro. And that's about it. So there wasn't actually, actually that many bad ones on that one. What's some more funny ones? Oh, okay, let's have a look at this one. This is a video I made about Kayani, which is a network marketing business that I decided to get into, but I stepped back from uh, because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't uh, passionate about it, and I realised that only the absolute top echelon of people in network marketing actually make an income from it. So I decided to step back and make a video about my experience, and um, it's actually gaining a bit of traction now. So we've got some hater comments on there. It was it was it was hating on the products, but it was giving it was giving an opinion. You know, it was giving my opinion on network marketing, how I saw the business model working for people, and how it didn't work for me. But anyways, never ever ever take advice from a quitter. It wasn't for you. You're right. This is not about Kayani or anything else. It's about how many subscribers you can get. Period. And you know what? That comment really pissed me off. So I actually replied to that one, and I said. Fuck off, that's not something I would do. I offer an unbiased opinion, these products are overpriced at best, I wish you well. And he never came back from that. There was one lady, Sandy, she didn't like it at all. She said, fair enough Jacob, personal training isn't for a lot of people. But that doesn't mean those individuals should make a video bad mouthing it. And yes, that's probably true. Someone may have done really well with Kearney and due to your video will now never give it a try. Well, that is true. Did you know, Jacob, that network marketing creates more millionaires than all other types of businesses? Uh, no. No, I didn't know that, but I have heard that. 
and um, goes on to say, I just ask individuals to please not spread their negative comments all over the net unless you have actually gave the business 100% and followed the system other than trying to recreate the wheel. Once again, best wishes to you. I said, Sandy, 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 that statement you make about network marketing making more millionaires than any other industry, are you fucking serious? Because that is completely and utterly untrue. Do your research. And she never came back to me. And a couple of weeks later, I, I was actually still pissed off and I, I messaged her back saying, did you find out the truth? Because um, it really isn't the truth. Um, that, that, that comment that people make to try and get people into network marketing by saying, network marketing creates more millionaires than any other industry is absolutely 100% ludicrous. And it's bullshit. And all you need to do is do a quick Google search and you'll find that shit out. So I messaged her back. I said, did you find out the truth? The question is, did you find out the truth, Jacob? Perhaps things are different where you are. I'm in Canada. Anyways, and that was about it for that one. So let's go back to another posing video and see what people have to say about my physique. Actually, you know what, guys? You know what, guys? To, to, to finish this video off, I'm going to go on to my most successful video as far as likes to dislikes ratio, which is my gynecomastia video. It's called Gynecomastia Speaking from Experience. We've had 25,000 views, 266 likes, and four dislikes, and 170 comments. Now this video, I get comments on every single day. Like, I'm not even joking. And if, like every single one of them is positive. It's always either thanking me for putting that video out, um, you know, sort of sympathizing with me or telling us, you know, telling me about their situation that they're in. Um, I get people from age 12, 16, 20, 25, 40. I get people from all over the world watching this video, getting something out of it, getting something positive out of it, and then commenting. And it's absolutely amazing. It really is. I mean, God, if I could have a library full of these kind of videos, fuck, that, that'd be, that'd be epic. But, um, Let's have a look at some of the top comments from this video. Thank you so much for this video, man. I've been going through it since I was 11 and I'm now 14 and I struggle every day. My worst nightmare is being shirtless in public. Now, I never go swimming, which is my favorite thing to do. I've saved money through all these years, but when I see the surgery on YouTube, as much as disgusting as it is, I feel happy when I watch it. Dude, I have mad respect for you making a video talking about this. I'm going through the same thing with the bullying and all that crap, and this video was incredibly helpful. So I'm so thankful, thank you so much. No problem, bro. So I don't need surgery, and thanks, it made me feel more comfortable. Man. <laughs> Honestly, man. Okay, this is, this is sad, this is a big comment. I'm 15 and currently in high school. I have gyno, milia, and my teeth are not straight. I'm also very, I'm always very self-conscious everywhere I go. I hate the way I look. Every time when I remove my milia, I'm not actually sure what that is, it just comes back. Every time I ask my parents for braces, they say that I don't need it and it's too expensive. It's goddamn hot as fuck this time of year in my country and I am ashamed of wearing short sleeve shirts because you can see the gyno. I'm lucky to have nice friends and a loving family, but I just fucking hate the way I am right now. And on top of all of that, I'm five foot nine and 140 pounds, so I'm skinny. I just fucking hate the way I look right now. I don't know what to do. Holy damn, wow, finally someone who's the same exact gyno as me. The shriveling up in the cold, wow, that was so damn true. I just turned 19, been training since I was 13. Finally, someone who is the exact same gyno as me. That was so damn true. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, <laughs> um, this guy, man, I feel for you, bro, but he, 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 he explains it pretty well. Um, I now know that I suffer from gyno. I suffer it from since I was 15 and now I'm 18. I suffer from it pretty bad and they protrude out so much. I'm quite embarrassed. I really don't know how I feel. It's awkward. I fucking hate it. I have pecs and abs, but then I also have fucking nipples like ice cream cones. And when I push down on them, it's like pushing your finger from ice cream. There's literally nothing there, but when you let go, they stick out like a blown up plastic bag. Jesus, mate. I feel for you. I'm quite embarrassed, but at the same time, it doesn't really bother me because I give zero fucks. But then it does when I want to show off my body. I don't know what to do anymore. I've suffered depression. Pretty sure I suffer from stress and insomnia. I can't sleep. I don't know. I just want to be normal again. I want to be happy. And the comment actually goes on for like 
probably about three times as long as that. So what do you say to that? What do you say to that, honestly? And the comments just go like that. I mean, there's so many supportive comments. It's unbelievable. The amount, I mean, like I mentioned in the video, I wanted to make the message clear to people that there's, so, there's millions of men out there and boys dealing with the same problem. The bullies that are giving you shit in school, um, they have bigger issues to deal with. And in 10 years' time, when they look back, they'll be like, holy shit, I was a fucking arsehole. You'd hope. And, um, you know, the grass is green on the other side, guys. So anyways, guys, uh, that, that was a bit of fun. It looks, like, it looks like the most common sort of comments I either have are at one end of the extreme, either, either which way. So you've either got people who are, who are completely just hating for no reason, they offer nothing constructive, they're just hating for whatever I've done, whether I've said something funny or whether I've acted awkward or fucking my gyno. Whatever it is, they're, they're, they're offering nothing, they're just negative people and they're hating. And then you've got people on the other end of the scale, which is why I do YouTube. The genuine comments, the comments that people have watched a video, they really feel like they've got something good out of it and then they've decided to comment uh, on the video and you know, offer their support or sympathize with me or whatever, you know. And then that will create, um, you know, there's, especially on that gynecomastia video, there's shitloads of people who have told, you know, who have said a comment about their situation, explaining their situation, and then I don't even need to reply back to them and give them support. Other people have come to the video, they've read that comment, and then they've given their own support back to them. So it's, it's a community, man. It's, it's an awesome community. The hate doesn't get to me. It really doesn't. Every now and then I might wake up um, in a really good mood, feeling like YouTube's going well, feeling like I, I really like that, that video that I put out. And then a negative comment will come back to me. Um, and for a, a few minutes at least, it'll put me in a down buzz. You know what I mean? Because I'm feeling really positive and then someone will just fucking slam me with a big hate comment. And, um, and I'll, I'll get sort of upset about it for a while. But it definitely doesn't last long. As soon as the next positive comment comes in, I've forgotten about that one, and I realize what the real purpose of this is, is to share positivity and, and you know, create a community where natural bodybuilding, being healthy, being positive, shooting for dreams, shooting for goals is, is what we're all about here. So anyways, guys. Uh, I, I'd better, I'd better fuck off now. Like I said, um, this community is all about spreading the positivity, spreading the word, spreading, spreading the gospel on natural bodybuilding, man. Natural, doing it naturally. We can, we can, uh, we can do this. You know, you don't need to go down that dark road just yet. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish off my monster and probably head to the gym. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you once again for watching. This was day 106, and we'll be back shortly for another episode of Making Games, which is exactly what we're doing. All right, so we're not going just yet. I'm back. We've still got the monster, so you know that I'm not lying about this, but literally within two minutes of me shutting off the camera just then, I got another couple of really positive comments that have just absolutely just lifted me up and made me feel fantastic. The first one said, such an underrated YouTuber, keep it up, all the best mate. And you know, comments like that, it's short, it's sweet, and it means the absolute world. So that was fantastic. And the second one said, bro, you're the meanest YouTuber up New Zealand. And um, yeah, that just brings a smile to my face because... There's not a lot of New Zealanders out there on YouTube and there's, there's not a lot of viewers that are new, from New Zealand. And so, you know, whenever anyone from New Zealand or Australia finds my channel and leaves a comment like that, it's fucking cool, man, because the world is a small place. But uh, I'm going to get, get out of here now, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.